In other news this afternoon, former U of M great and NBA Hall of Famer Chris Webber is now taking a shot at business. Webber broke ground today on a cannabis facility in Detroit. The $50 million operations is a training and training facility is set to be built on 22nd Street right near Michigan Avenue and the Fisher Service Drive. The goal of the facility is to provide jobs and opportunities for underrepresented members of the community. I really want to thank all of you business owners that's been here. You guys have been putting your sweat, your equity, your time into the ground here in Detroit. And so all I hope that I can do is seamlessly come in and work with you and have a successful um, business here. The first phase of completion is expected in March of 2022. So Pfizer has submitted data to the Food and Drug Administration to clear its COVID-19 vaccine for use in kids ages 5 to 11. The FDA is expected to take at least a few weeks to analyze the data collected in a phase three trial that included more than 2000 children. If the FDA believes the results are satisfactory, they will then grant emergency use authorization. Pfizer said its two dose COVID vaccine has shown to be safe while prompting a quote well tolerated and robust antibody response in a younger group. The company said the vaccine also caused similar side effects to those seen in adults, which includes arm soreness and fatigue. Booster shots have started rolling out nationwide for those who are eligible, but despite guidance from the CDC, there's still a lot of confusion about who should actually get them. Let's check in with Gabe Gutierrez. He has more from Charleston, West Virginia, which actually has the highest COVID-19 hospitalization rate in the country right now.